What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a new technique that I came up with to help find good products to sell on Amazon. Now, I haven't seen any other videos out there that show this technique, so it might be helpful to you because we all know the hardest part of selling on Amazon is finding a good product. So we're going to get into my computer, but before we do, if you could just smash that like button, hit that subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm, that would really help me out. If you like this type of content, then why not subscribe? All right, guys, thank you. Let's get into my computer right now and break down this new product research method. Let's go. All right, so here we are. We're on Amazon and you can probably see this right here. It says internet famous and you can see down here it says the latest to go viral. So to get to this screen, all you do is go to amazon.com slash internet famous and it's going to bring up this um, interface right here. And basically these are going to be all the hot trending products that went viral on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook. And you're not necessarily looking for viral products because they're probably already popular and they got a lot of reviews but I'll show you a technique where you could find newer products that might not be as popular yet that you could launch on Amazon so of course you could do it however you want there's no right or wrong way um, you could go to like each individual influencer and pick out what products they are promoting um, and then you could also have influencers like these promote your products on Amazon to get sales so it's kind of like a two-in-one I don't like to click on the influencer name I like to go down here and at the bottom of every little section you will see shop all viral women's fashion or down here shop all viral men's fashion and the one that I like to pick or the one that I always like to pull up right here is shop all viral home picks so this is going to bring up all the viral home type products. I'm going to click right here and you can see there's a lot of different ways to look at the products. You could click on um, home right here. You could keep going over here again, all the different influencers. But what I like to do is I go down here and we could see that there's a lot of different products that went viral on social media. But this one has 125,000 reviews. This one has 41,000 reviews. So we're not going to sell any of these types of products because these markets are going to be very saturated. But there is a couple things that you could do to find products that don't have as many reviews in the internet famous section so you don't see any filters up here so what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna click right here where it says see all results I'm gonna click right here and now it's gonna show all of the products in a full page layout but now you can actually search from newest arrivals so that's the filter I like to choose I'll go right here and I'm gonna to go to newest arrivals why is that important because they are new products they're probably not popular yet and you might have a way of differentiating that product so I'm gonna click right here on new arrivals and now we could see the top sellers on um, home trending products. They don't have thousands of reviews. They only have 40 reviews. They only have 20 reviews. So now we're finding products that are not saturated, that are trending, that you might be able to sell on Amazon. So we're gonna go down here. Um, this one has 7,000 reviews, so you're still gonna see a couple of those pop up. Let's keep going down here. I wouldn't wanna sell these because how would I differentiate this type of clip? Evil eyeball candle, who would buy that? I don't know. I'm not gonna sell that. I'm not gonna sell anything glass related. So we're just kinda looking at these different products, getting ideas on what we could sell. Um, I'm not gonna sell anything for your comforter, your bed, um, watermelon windmill cutter. Here's another one down here for a watermelon. I'm guessing watermelon slicer is a seasonal product. Um, so I'm not going to click on that because I think it only grows like in the summertime. So people eat watermelon in the summertime. This looks a little interesting. I'm not sure, but let's just double check. So if I did see a potential product, what I'll do is I'll click on it. And then we're going to go right here and run helium 10 x-ray. Again, if you don't have helium 10, I have a discount code down below in the description that gives you 50% off. But let's pull it up right here. And just because it's on there doesn't mean they're getting sales. So right here you could see that they're barely getting any sales on their products. They're not even making $1,000 a month in revenue. So we go back to the drawing board and we are going to keep scrolling and hopefully find a potential winner. Um, so here they are. That's pretty funny. A Lego plant. Let's go to page two. Retro poster wall art print. You can see they only have seven left in stock. Um, 51 reviews. Let's keep going. Actually, let's just double check this to see if they are getting sales. Here it is. I'm going to pull it up on Helium 10 and we can see if they are getting any sales on that one wall art product. So they are selling these retro wall art little posters, I guess. Um, and they're doing $15,000 a month with only 51 reviews. So if you are creative or you have an idea of like posters for retro, this could be a good niche to get into because these people have low reviews and they're doing over 15,000 a month in sales, which is great. So that could be a potential one if you are creative or have good designs or know anything about retro. I'm not creative though when it comes to art, so I'm not sure what I would have. Here's another one, retro poster wall art. 
I think it's the same seller, Artivo. Um, here's a rolled ice cream maker for kids. Um, I'm guessing it's electronic because it has to be frozen. So anything electronic, I like to stay away from. Here is a two piece twist candle. Um, it looks like they only have a three and a half star rating. And they're selling these at $13.99. So let's just double check. Are people actually buying these weird twisty looking candles? Let's pull it up again. Always go back to x-ray to check. And we can see here, they only have 29 reviews and people are buying these candles. Um, they're making anywhere from 7,000 on this one, 8,000 on this variation, 6,000 on this one. And it is a twisty looking candle. Um, but let's look at their bad reviews because they only had a three and a half star rating. So sometimes I like to go here and then I'll click on their one star ratings and see why people are leaving a bad review. Much smaller than it looks on the screen. So that is very key. On your pictures on Amazon, you always wanna have a picture that shows the actual size either next to a, someone's hand or like the dimensions because people will get these and if it's not the same size as they look in the picture, they are gonna leave a bad review. So I always put a picture on my listing that shows the size, a comparison, um, either to like your hand so they could kind of compare what size it is. But yeah, you always wanna put a comparison picture on your listing. Again, here's another person that left a review that says small. You could come in the market, uh, maybe have a different twisty design candle. I don't know what it would be, but you'd always want to have a picture showing the actual size and you could have a better rating than this seller on Amazon because you can't tell how big this product is. Um, but yeah, that's another example of a product that popped up that's doing pretty good under these trending products that are popping up under the internet famous category. Again, you're going to have other products on here. Marble taper candle holder, artificial front door wreath, Here's that slushy cup that everybody has probably seen. Um, here's like little woven coasters, I guess. So you could also get ideas just by looking at the keywords. So a woven boho coaster. I would have never known what that is, but they only have 15 reviews. They're selling these little things at 22 bucks. And let's see what they are actually making on Amazon. They're not even making a thousand bucks on Amazon. But what you could do from here, just because this seller isn't making any money, you could go right here, copy the main keyword, which is typically at the top, woven boho coasters go right here paste it in and then let's look at the market for these and we could see now we found a market where the top seller I mean they're selling at a very low price point but 98 reviews for the top seller all of these sellers have under a thousand reviews this one only has 152 59 you get the point um, this seller does have over 2,000 so what I'll do from here because I do see sellers on page one with low reviews um, let's go right here again helium 10 x-ray that's where i always go to get the averages so here we go let's pull it up so they do have a lot of people on page one with low reviews but you can see they also have very low revenue i mean most of these people aren't even making around ten thousand a month and they're make and they're ranking on page one but this also might not be the main keyword um so i'm not going to get into finding the main keyword and go off on that tangent but that is a market that looked promising but now it doesn't because the revenue is pretty low but you get the point all i am doing is going to different categories is going to internet famous looking around at the new arrivals to see the lower reviewed products that are doing well on Amazon thinking outside the box of how I can create a product similar to those but a little different um, if you need any other help with product research check out my other videos this is just a quick technique I wanted to share with you guys because we all know product research can take a lot of time and some people get stuck inside software like helium 10 and black box or jungle scout and they think there's no way of finding products but you can always use different techniques similar to the this. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you need any help with your Amazon FBA business, I have all of my information down below in the description. I run an Amazon Facebook community with over 10,000 people in it. If you want to join for free, click down below. That is it for this one. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.